tour at the Empire State Building. The Empire State Building is an iconic structure that screams New York. According to New York Times, written on May 4th, 2013, the Empire State Building stands an enduring symbol of New York City and the mayhem and legal conflict to which New York City real estate titans are prone. As a child, I was always fascinated with the architecture of this building with 103 stories. Did you know the Empire State Building took one year and 45 days to be built? This structure welcomed about 4 million persons annually. Now that we've seen the Empire State Building, let's hop back on the bus to visit the World Trade Center. We are here at our second location, the World Trade Center. When I think of the World Trade Center, I'm immediately reminded of the sad tragedy that took place here. 9-11. The people of New York will never forget. According to www.911memorial.org, accessed on March 2, 2014, the Twin Towers were the centerpieces of the World Trade Center complex. At 110 stories each, one World Trade Center North Tower and two World Trade Center South Tower provided nearly 10 million square feet of office space for about 35,000 people and 430 companies. They were the tallest buildings in the New York City and for a brief period upon their completion, they were the tallest buildings in the world. They attracted roughly 70,000 tourists and commuters every day. The skylines that graced the New York skies were destroyed due to a massive terrorist attack. Please keep your seatbelts fastened as we journey to Wall Street. Our last stop is Wall Street. Wall Street was given its name in the 17th century as the walls formed the northern boundary of the new Amsterdam settlement erected for defensive purposes. According to Hermes Press, accessed on March 3, 2014, a century before, Dutch settlers had built a wall to protect themselves from Indians, pirates, and other dangers. The path had become a bustling commercial thoroughfare because it joined the banks of the East River with those of the Hudson River on the west. The path was named Wall Street. Early merchants built their warehouses and shops on this path along with a city hall and a church. New York was the U.S. national capital from 1785 until 1790, and the Federal Hall was built on Wall Street. George Washington was inaugurated on the steps of this building. When I think of Wall Street, I think of the many bankers, investors, and financial specialists who make this place their home in New York. Wall Street can be described as the federal center in the United States.